Hi everyone, today I want to show you how to knit this super fun and easy diagonal garter stitch scarf. It's worked from this corner outwards and it is split into three separate parts. So the first part we are going to work the increase to get our width, then the main body of the scarf we are going to knit to get length and then at the end we're going to decrease down to get our project back into a point. This is a really great project for an adventurous beginner. You only need to know the basic garter stitch plus a basic increase and a basic decrease and I will talk you through the increase and the decrease as we go. So as long as you can work the knit stitch this project is for you. To make this project you are going to need knitting needles in the right size for the yarn that you need. You can use straight needles I like to use circular needles, whichever one works for you. And then you're going to need some embroidery scissors and a tapestry needle to sew in your ends. So without further ado, grab your needles, grab some yarn and let's get knitting. The first section of our project that we want to work is the increase section. This is where we build the width of a project and then we go on to work the length of the scarf. So the beauty of this project is that there are actually no stitches to cast on. You just want to work one solitary slip knot and pop that slip knot onto your needle. Tighten it up, but not too tight. And we are going to work our first row, and our first row consists of just one stitch, and we are going to work a knit front back increase. So to start your knit front back increase, you want to pop your needle into your stitch as if you're going to knit it. Pull up a loop, and then do not drop this left hand part of your stitch off your left hand needle. Swing your needle back round to the back of your work and pop your needle back into that same stitch and draw up a second loop. And then you can slide your left hand needle out and you have worked one stitch and turned it into two. From row two onwards, every row is the same. You are going to knit front back in the first stitch and then knit any subsequent stitches that you have left on your needles. So once again, the knit front back, you're going to start your stitch as if you're just going to knit it. Don't drop it off your left hand needle. Pop your needle back into that same stitch and draw up a second loop. Then you can drop the stitch from your left hand needle and then any stitches left in that row, you are just going to knit. And you can see that we are increasing one stitch per row. So your repeat row from here on in is knit front back. and then knit any stitches that you have left on your needles. And you want to work that one row until your project is the width that you want it to be. So knit front back, and then knit any remaining stitches. And each row you do, you should end up with one stitch more than you had on the previous row, because we are working that increase to increase our stitches and to get those nice diagonal rows that you saw on my scarf at the beginning of my work. So I will now go away and make this project a bit bigger and I will come back and show you how we work the main body of our scarf. That is the bulk of our work. The increase section is a fairly quick and easy process. The main bulk of your work is obviously going to be increasing length on the scarf. Once you've worked um, a few more of those increase rows, you should have a project that ends up looking something like this triangle. Obviously yours will be a lot bigger, but I'm just making a tiny sample today to show you. So you will see that you have two nice straight edges here that form a 90 degree triangle, and you will get the width of your scarf by measuring one of these two edges. So when you have finished width making so you're happy with how wide your scarf is going to be we can now go to work our second section which is the length building section so in this section we want to keep the amount of stitches that we have the same for every row in this section we transition to a two row repeat but it's a really easy two row repeat so the first of those rows is as follows for the first stitch you will work a knit front back increase just like you have been doing on those increase rows. Then you are going to knit until you have two stitches remaining on your left hand needle. Then 
When you have two stitches remaining on that left hand needle, we are going to work our first decrease of the project and that is simply a knit two together. So um, that is as easy as it sounds. You grab two stitches instead of one and knit them together to form one stitch. So there we have increased one stitch at this end, but we've cancelled out that increase by decreasing a stitch at this end. This end is where your width will stop. So if you want to put a stitch marker at this end so that you know that this is your decrease end, you can do. But once you've done a few more rows, it really becomes self-evident. So you shouldn't struggle to see where you increase and where you decrease. So the second row of our two row repeat is easy, super, super easy. You're going to knit every single stitch. No increases, no decreases. You just want to knit every stitch. And you work those two rows over and over until your scarf is as long as you want it to be. I'll recap those two rows for you again. So row one of your two row repeat is a knit front back. Knit until you have two stitches remaining on your needles. And then when you have two stitches left, you want to knit those two together to turn two stitches into one. Row two, knit every single stitch. And if you pop your knitting away and you forget which row you're on, whether you're on a row that you're just knitting every stitch or whether you're on a row one where you want to work that increase and that decrease, once you've worked a few rows, it's fairly easy to tell. You want to be doing your increase and your decrease on a row that it's at the top of your slant. So your short edge will be here and it's like you want to work your knit front back knit two together when you're at the top of the hill once you've done a bit more that becomes really self-evident so you would now work those two rows until your scarf is as long as you want it to be that could be as long or as short as you want it to be you just keep repeating those two rows over and over again and then when you are ready to finish off your scarf when it's long enough um, you need to work the decrease section and that is what I will show you how to do next. Once you reach a point that you have a lovely long scarf or in my case a tiny sample and you decide that you are ready to start your decrease you want to have finished a row of all knit and be starting at your pointy end here and from now on in this is a one row repeat again. So just like with our increase, we are going to be working a one row repeat. So it's quite simple. You want to knit every stitch until you have two stitches left. When you have two stitches left on your left hand needle, you want to knit those two stitches together, just like you have been doing on your increase rows. And because you haven't increased at this end, you have now decreased a stitch, so you'll have one less stitch than you started with. And as this is a one row repeat, we are going to do the same again. So we are going to knit until we have two stitches left. And when you get to your final two stitches, you want to knit those two together once again to decrease to leave us with one less stitch than we started with. And you want to keep on doing that one row until you have decreased right down. So we're going to knit every single stitch until we have two stitches left on our left hand needle. And then once we get to that point, we are going to knit the last two stitches together. So you'll want to go away and repeat that row until you've decreased right down. And I will come back and show you how you finish everything off once you have decreased right down to the last few stitches. I've decreased right down and I only have three stitches left on my needle. So I want to still work this last row where you knit the first one and then the last two we are going to knit together. And then for our very last stitch of the project, we've still got two stitches left on our needles and you want to knit those two stitches together. Just like the first stitch, this can be a little bit fiddly, but nothing too major. Then you want to pull up 
your loop so you don't lose your stitch. Break your working yarn and leave a nice tail, 20-25 centimetres for you to sew in your ends after. And then you can either pull this loop through and pull to tighten or you can pull your yarn tail through that loop that we've created and then pull to tighten and that just makes it nice and secure. Don't worry about this little sticky out bit. Once you sew your end in, you can't see that at all. And there you should have a finished nice diagonal garter stitch scarf. And you can see that even in plain yarn, the fact that you're working your rows diagonally just gives it that little bit more interest than you would have if you were just working straight garter stripes like you might have learned in the past. And that's how you knit a lovely diagonal garter stitch scarf. You can see here that it works amazing in variegated yarn as well as the solid yarn that I showed you in the tutorial. And if like me, you've caught the corner to corner knitting bug, then I will pop a video up here that I think you might enjoy. And I'll see you again for another tutorial soon. Bye.